A thermal sensing system requires neither a pump nor a controller. The system relies on principles that hot water rises and cooler water sinks. Adding a building fin to the collector flow tube helps collect more heat to flow through. As the sun heats the water in the collector during daylight hours, it will rise to the tank above. The solar heated water will flow from the tank whenever hot water is used within your home. Solar water storage tank hookup. Wood heater water storage tank. Also the 4x8 solar fan installed bypass valve. A wood heater and solar heater bypass valve on the solar storage tank. This would be the old storage tank. 160 gallon total. Cut off valves on the flow tube. Note the cut off valve location. Also the poppet valve temperature relief valve location on here. This coming from the old solar collector. This is the wood heater and water heater hookup. Note where the temperature valve is located, the water that's going from the heat exchanger on the wood stove. This would be going up to the storage tank for wood stove and the solar collector. Here is the gas propane hot water backup, and I use it about six days a year. Here is the air inlet vent on the solar air heater wintertime or solar air cooling summertime. It goes to the solar heat room. Right here would be the heat outlet for the solar heating. Old solar collector with copper plate soldered to flow tube. One inch flow tube. I will place the new flow tube at a later date. Here would be the placement of the new flow tube, 4 by 8 flow tube collector, the storage tank location in the house, and the old collector flow tube location. 12 volt solar cell for battery charging to keep my battery charged for the light at night in the house. Here is a solar chimney that's placed. It needs to go really go higher up above the roof ridge. I need a better way, but right now the uh, power line is coming in and blocking my way. But it did cool the house last summer here in North Alabama. Here are the 12 volt batteries for the solar cells that I have right now for light and also for the uh, refrigeration during a blackout. Also in the future I'm thinking about getting enough solar cells where I have 2 kilowatt hours of electricity and I'll be able to be off grid.